Hallelujah. Come on and give God praise. Give him honor and glory and thanksgiving. For today is a prophetic day. This is a day after nations were weighed. Pulse of nations were taken. How many of you remember last 11th hour they were weighed? Remember that? And then today... I saw the Lord take his fingers and take the pulse of nations. Some nations will come out all right, and some will come out unscathed, and some will arrive DOA. For this is the day pulse was taken after nations have been weighed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God. Thank you, Praise Lord. God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I saw several things uh, this, this morning early. And uh, thank you. I saw several things early this morning. Would you hand me those uh, out of the back of my briefcase there? And... Um, I'm going to say some things. Maybe if you you come and play, and maybe we can do that that same melody. Dun, 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 just kind of, yeah. I uh, yeah, I'll do it, Lord. I'll do it. We we need the well, I, I need the drums and everything right now. Give give me something on this mic, uh, son. Just uh. EQ it some. There's something that's really heavy today, and I want to get it said, but I want to say it the right way. <clears throat> you can come and be ready, Every, everybody that wants to be ready. Okay, let me hear the keyboard. I, I need the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of lightly. We just want it light. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Come on, come on, we'll just follow it here. Da -da. Just really light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, however you hear it. Mm -hmm. Give me that beat, that heartbeat on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, everybody get kind of settled. In the spirit, rocks in. And go. I know other nations around the world can hear that today. They can hear that. You can hear it in your spirit. Something's happening right now. I mean something's happening to the point we've never seen this happen before. It's about something is happening big. Come on, just a little bit more and we'll do something different. Come on. Whatever you heard, come on. Yes, come on. You said this is different on the 11th hour. Well, not really. Go ahead. There's voices that is coming in heaven that is broke through this morning. And as she began to sing, one pierced through and I turned and looked because I knew right now that this is so important that the angelic host of heaven 
has come to fight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hand me that, that staff right there. We, uh, some of you will remember boots on the ground in D.C. This was the staff that was given to me on that day. When the Lord sent that to me that day, this was what was placed in my hands. This was the very staff that was stretched out over the Red Sea. And though the Lord says to me this morning, this staff that's beside my sword is for this nation. That's for the nation. But this was the staff. See if you can get a shot of this. Come on and just get right. Yeah, there you go. This staff here was given to me for the nation. This staff here was given to me to divide the corruption and divide it one side to the other, the Red Sea. And the day at 1.12 p.m. when I stretched this out toward the Capitol and ordered the sea to divide, the Republican Party split right down the middle that day. It divided. Corruption has fell on one side, but I'm telling you something. The Red Sea is about to come back together. It's still going to come back together. God hasn't forgotten that day. He hasn't forgotten the day that I stretched this out in Washington, D.C. He hasn't forgotten that day. And this nation is in his face constantly. In the face of an eagle. All the time. So we approach today as the Red Sea gets ready to come back together. I don't know if you heard that. The Red Sea is getting ready to come back together. You know why? Because the people that have come out on the other side have just about come out now. And Pharaoh and his chariots are just about in the middle. And when they're in the middle and they can't possibly go backward or forward, it will begin to close. Because the command has been made to close. Now, this is what I saw coming up. I saw the United States Navy is about, is about to enter the prophetic scheme. This is what I heard. I heard the United States Navy is about to enter the prophetic scheme. Watch for this. I saw this this morning. This is the way I saw it. I saw the Pentagon. The Pentagon. And this is what they did. Whoa. Whoa. As they did their hands like this. I heard... I saw the Oval Office dark. It was dark. Someone was sitting there, but it was dark, and there was, there was nobody in the chair of the president. And it was dark. And I heard this, Pennsylvania, heads up. Something about the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. I don't know if it's something to do with spending something I'm just reading what I've, I've got this is all sounding random isn't it I heard Mary Staples Mary then I heard Staples I think it's together and then I heard something about an April 17th April 17th I think it's a birthday. I heard the name Camden, South Carolina. Camden. Camden was involved during the Revolutionary War. I know that. Everything is wide open right now. 
And this is what I heard. Let me see if I can put some of this together. I heard the United States Navy is about to enter the prophetic scheme. Watch for this. I heard the Pentagon say, whoa. I saw the Oval Office dark. I heard this. Everything is wide open right now. And I heard... I heard... Impeachment. I heard impeachment and I heard resign. Impeachment and resign. That's what I heard. I'm going to tell you something. This Joe Biden is still not the president. He's never been the president. He's still not the president. And he never will be the president. So therefore, everything within this so-called... What do they call their staff? Their administration, their so-called administration, is bogus. It's all bogus. And I heard impeachment and resign. That's what I heard. It's a what? A false wall. Yes. Do you want me to say that, Lord? Okay. I'm just saying things as I heard them. The Lord began to talk to me right as I woke up this morning, just like that, just like you'd snapped your fingers, write these things down. And when God starts talking, all you can do is, is try to keep up. Oh, brother, you know, some people might be saying, this is wild, this is wild. Yeah, and it's about to get really wilder right here. I saw... I'm going to go ahead and say this. I'm just going to swing for the fence on this. I, yeah, I don't know. Do you want me to say that? I saw President Trump. He was in a boxing ring. Now, I can imagine people are going to clip this out and put it everywhere and show him with boxing gloves. <laughs> But I, but I saw President Trump in a boxing ring. He had gloves on. I do not know who he was fighting. I could see the person that was shorter than him. And President Trump was laying back against the ropes like this. If I could show you how I saw it. You say, well, I remember seeing Ali do that. And it was just like Ali, he would lay back on the rope like this and do his hand like this if it was a shorter opponent trying to hit him. And Ali was toying with him. He would toy with the guy. Now, rope-a-dope was different. This was something else I, I used to see him do. You know, the rope-a-dope thing was like this. But he would do this. And he'd just kind of look. Because you know why he would do that? The guy couldn't hurt him. And he was about to annihilate him right there on the spot. And, and he could do it. And he would just, and that's the way I saw President Trump this morning. He was laying back against the rope like that. And he had one a glove up and one down. And he was looking at that the opponent and he was just kind of looking at him and I knew he was getting ready to take him out and so I saw that and because the opponent was no match for him now there's a lot of things I'm I'm seeing here I'm not sure how to say uh 
I heard the name Tim Story. I heard, uh, I saw him coming downstairs, just coming down. I heard Boris Johnson again. And I heard a name, uh, I'm not sure if this goes with this or not, but I heard a name Kathleen Cook. And I heard uh, something about Gatlinburg. And your family is the most important thing. The Lord will just talk, you know. And then I heard this. And I heard myself ask you something. Is the queen dead? Because this is what I heard this morning. They couldn't wake her up. I don't know exactly what that was about. And I got up and I saw myself ask you. I said, Has she, is she gone? Is she dead? You said, I don't know what you said. I think you said no. And I said, well, they can't wake her up. I, I see that they can't wake her up. And I saw that today. I don't know what that means, if, if it's spiritual or if it's physical. I don't know. And then I heard this, England at war? With a question mark. And then I heard this, They're, they'll be dragged in on it. I told you it's heavy today. Now, I saw this, and this was the last thing I saw on this morning. And I saw this just as plain. It was like I, I just, I could see the room. I could see everything there. And I knew it was in Japan. And it was flooded with water. Just huge amounts of water. And it looked like it was in some kind of basement. And people were over little boats and things trying to hold on and float and not go down. And there was a lot of water. I could see that in Japan. So all of our partners in Japan, all the partners in these places we've named, this is, has to do with nations and governments too right now. And you need to begin to pray and we'll join in with you and pray because every nation is fighting its own war right this moment on its own soil. And it's trying to fight corruption and trying to resist the regime of the beast as it tries to push its way into this world too early. So these are the prophetic things I heard this morning. I hope we, we got them. I, I can go back over them just a little bit. There's one here I can't say right now. But I am going to say this. I, I don't remember what day it was exactly. But I was coming down. This was, I think it was last year. And all of a sudden the the Spirit of God came up on me and came over me. And I heard prophetic words, strong prophetic words concerning the tech giants. I heard them by name. It was in January of what year? Was it 2020 or 2021? And I heard, I heard this. This was a while back. I've got it recorded. I've just never released it. And I heard the name of the tech giants. And I think it was four of them I heard. Listen close to me. I'm going to give this word now. Even though the Lord gave it to me a good while back. I've never been released to say it till now. And the Lord said just to say it this way. That the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. And the wicked are these Places, the wicked, Facebook, Google, Twitter, Amazon, these kind of places. And the Lord said, that's the wealth, the great wealth. And it's laid up for the just. And the Lord says these things to me. He said, of all the money that you have used, to shed the blood in abortion clinics and abortion mills around the world. 
all the money that you have funneled in to shed innocent blood all over the world and, start, and, and, and fund abortions. He said, I'm going to use that money to knit your shrouds with. I'm going to use that to make your shrouds. He said, be sure and save two coins to put on your eyes because that's all you'll have left when this thing is over. For the blood of the innocent children that have been slaughtered around the world. Oh, Brother Robin, now that is, that's just, that's just way bold. No, that's way God. You can't just keep murdering children by the untold millions. And you fund it with all of your corrupted monies. Save two coins. Because that's all you'll have left when it's over. Behold, it has begun. Hallelujah. So there it said. There it said. People say, I wouldn't have said it. I know it. But the Lord wanted it said. So there it is. Bold prophecies. Yes. Yes, bold prophecies. How about this for a bold prophecy? The dogs will eat Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. The dogs will lick up your blood, Ahab, where you shed Naboth's blood in his vineyard. How about prophecies like that? Behold, it begins. The wealth of the wicked. All the money that's been spent on these abortion mills. You have supported abortion in every phase of it. All the way up to the law was passed, and a law was passed to kill a child at birth, not just before birth. As if there's a difference. But yet it's pushing it. Where is it pushing to? Trying to get to the place of Pharaoh killing them two years old and under. Herod two years old and under. Throwing them in the Nile. Getting rid of a generation. That's where it's trying to be pushed to. And you, big, rich, blare-eyed tech, tech giants, have funded all of it. Well, that's the money that's going to be taken from you and given to the just. And with that money, we'll see third world countries fed. We'll see countries of third world countries that are starving. They'll be fed and they'll be clothed and, the, and they'll have medical attention. And there'll be places where we never thought that, that we could ever reach with that kind of money that's coming. Let me tell you something. God is absolutely good. And he's absolutely merciful. But I'm going to tell you something came up in my spirit. He has had enough. He's had enough. You mark that down and remember it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But save two coins. Hallelujah. Here, do it last. Hear the chimes, the chimes of the winds blowing through time. For some say, we are prophetic. And yet prophecies of this magnitude are not seen. You must tell what's in your spirit wherever you are. You must begin to listen to the Lord and speak out of your spirit. The bigger the voice, the more it's heard. So begin to speak. Begin to talk or the barking dogs will drown you out. For they're looking for your networks. And they're looking for your voices. And they're looking to silence you. 
speak. Speak, prophets. Speak. For some are speaking. And some are speaking boldly. And some will begin to speak more boldly. But there is an underground flow that the Holy Ghost is beginning to speak out of the ears of media where media can't reach. And he's going to speak it into the spirits of prophets everywhere. And people will hear it. And before long, people will be able to gather in a place and never saw it advertised. We are at a crucial time, a very crucial time. A regime of serpents has crawled out of a cockatrice hole. And it's set into a place where if a man leans against a wall, and follow this bunch that a serpent will bite him you must stand bold now or there may not be another time to stand so we stand now we say what God gives us to say hasn't he protected you thus far He will continue to protect you. Heaven is on alert now. When nations were weighed, angels were dispatched. Heaven is on alert now. For I see ships in the Straits of Hormuz. I see ships moving. I see the United States Navy moving. I see the Pentagon draw back and whoa. For things are going to be surprising in the days ahead. Burning sands, yes. Espionage, yes. Disinformation by the abundance. But know this, says the Lord, I am going to confuse your codex. I'm going to confuse your binary. I'm going to confuse it with one whisper of my breath through your binaries. And they will become confused and attack one another. Hear it? For you thought that you were a match for the Almighty. What do you do when Russia becomes the hero? I never saw that coming. There's a lot you never saw coming that will come soon. Do not swing at my trump again. Don't swing at him or his family again. For you are not ready for the counter. When I will flex my arm and my own arm will bring salvation. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb. To Him who sits on the throne and unto